Okay, so I recently asked everybody on like three different posts, right? I asked them, what do you think 2K24 needs to be great? Because we all know 2K24 is coming out very soon. It is June. So if I'm correct, the 2K cycle, according to the 2K cycle, we should be getting some news around mid-July. That's going to take all the YouTubers and everything because that's how it goes. I'm a YouTuber. I, I, you know, I've been through this process. That whole news thing is going to take us all the way to late August. And then the gameplay, the gameplay starts to leak. And then we get that all the way to launch day. So right here, I was thinking, I'm going to get everybody or as many people as I can. I'm going to get their input on what 2K24 needs to be great again. We're going to go through most of these because it's a lot. But... I'm trying not to take a long time, you know, maybe around 10 to 11 minutes. So we got to go through this fast. So let's not waste no time. Yo, go watch this low key. Go watch this. Go run this up. If you already didn't put your input in, go ahead and put your input because I'm going to read it. I want to know what everybody thinks. Also, put what you think below in the comment section with 2K24 needs. Okay, let's get into it. Definitely a better rep system. You see, the, here's the thing, bro. Y'all say, and I'm going to keep it quick, by the way, with each one. I'm going to keep it quick. No more than 30 seconds for each comment. Y'all say this every year. 2K needs a better rep system. Y'all said it in 2K18. There was no rep system. Okay, we got 2K19. The, the overall was your, the rep system was your overall. Okay, that wasn't good enough. That's fine. Okay. And then in 2K20, I think it was the rookie to legend thing. You had the elite pro all-star legend or was it the legend all-star elite and then legend. Okay. You had that. That wasn't good enough. Fine. It was good enough. But the thing is, it didn't have any rewards. Bad reward system. Good rep system. Bad reward system. So how about seasons starting from 2K20? Two, I think. Yeah, 2K20. It was 2K21. What was seasons in 2K21? I think it was. No, it was 22. I think it was 22. Okay, 22. We started with the seasons. Good rewards. Good rep system. You have to explain why are we going to get a better rep system than what we already got? What's wrong with our rep system now? I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with it. Let's just keep it a buck. I, hey, that's just me. This guy said a good shot tuner. What the fuck is a shot tuner? I'm going to assume you mean a good shot meter, and I'm going to just ignore this because didn't 2K give y'all like 16 shot meters this year? They got y'all one with the star. They got one face that's like above an arc above your head, one below your, your, your feet like 2K17, one on the side, one on the side going straight up like NBA Live. Eh, I'm not buying that we need a new shot meter. Nobody uses shot meters anymore. Let's just keep it like that. 2K19 build system. 23 is overpowered. Now, 2K has had a little bit of problems balancing their systems, their build systems. I would say 2K19 is pretty balanced because you only select two goddamn archetypes. You get primary, say you do shooting, secondary shot creating. That's it. For primary playmaking, secondary shot shooting, like everybody in a mob did. Okay, you could do that. But then you're not going to have that uniqueness. Y'all complained about it. Y'all said there was no variety in 2K19. Like, everybody had the same build. Sharpshooting playmaker. Playmaking sharpshooter. Sharpshooting sharp shooting shot creator. Okay, 23. The build system is, it creates um, a variety of builds, right? So no one person has the same build. It's, it's unlikely. That's what we wanted, right? So we can't backtrack. That's unfair to 2K. So what they need to do is just nerf Limitless Takeoff. Because honestly... That's what making dunking overpowered. Nothing's more overpowered in 2K than the dunking. Let's just keep it a buck. I said it in my videos. Limitless takeoff can take your build from dunking like Clay Thompson to Prime Vince Carter in like two tier upgrades. So that badge got to get nerfed. I want the old shot timing thing back. What is he talking about? I even replied, say shot meter. Here's the thing about this one. I don't understand that. I'm gonna just skip that one. I don't think that one's important. If you're talking about 2K22 sh shooting, no, we're not, we're not doing that again. If you're talking about the shot meter, don't complain about the shot meter. Just turn it off. Old rep system. I just went over that. The old rep system is not going to help y'all. Okay, here, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me cook real quick. Let me cook. The old rep system was good. 2K16 rep system, right? Hold on. 2K16 rep system with 2K23 season. Now, low key, if they could do this, if they could separate your season tiers, right? Your season tiers, one through 40. And then you could have like your rep on the side so rookie to legend 
But at that point, you have two systems giving you rewards right there. So what's the point? Okay, I could do it like this. What if the rep system rookie to legend gave you rewards all year long, but the seasons only gave you seasonal rewards, which they're doing now. That means like hair, clothes and all that it could be less significant so like the bikes and the skateboards and all that in uh tigers the animals you can low-key just put them in the rep system but then save the season rewards for like clothes and all that and double xp tokens hairstyles bikes and all that you can even have different colors of the tigers and shit like that but you gotta unlock so like if i like say legend 3 is mascots right but then the season rewards offer different types of mascots but you have to unlock the mask guys on your rep. Oh, you're low key. I'm cooking with that. I like that reward. Yo, that's the first one. That's the first one I like. I think 2K24 needs that. You might be cooking. I can't type. You might be cooking with that one, my boy. Ranked mode. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Rank mode. Rank mode. Low key. If you want rank mode, you gotta go to pro M. What we need is matchmaking part, which we probably already have. You just gotta go to the theater. That's pretty much matchmaking. But everybody knows the theater doesn't give you no rep. So that's the problem. Uh, I think we do need a better rank mode. What if I don't? See, this guy's a troll. Don't be like this guy. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. I created a post on my community feed. I said, what is one thing that you feel needs to return or be added to 2K24? So I didn't even read this one because as you guys can see, this one is it's kind of long. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's kind of long. I didn't read that. I didn't read that. We're gonna read it together. I just hearted it and said, thanks for your input. Okay, let's read the first one. Ranked leaderboards like 2K16, remember? Only like five people stay at the top. Well, poor boy, Sin, Nadex. Did he stay in there? I don't even think so. I think Chicago, you guys didn't know that was the first legend in 2K16, Orlando in Chicago. I think that's his name, right? Orlando in Chicago. So yeah, rank leaderboards, I guess it's fine, but I really don't care about rank leaderboards because y'all are probably not going to be on the leaderboards anyway. Rep rewards. Okay, we went over that. Archetypes. I don't need archetypes to come back. Actually, I need them to keep this build system right here, but kind of keep working on it keep balancing it they almost had it they almost had it perfect limitless takeoff that's too overpowered they need to nerf it once they nerf it i feel like the, it will be cool faster game speed yo he's a dribbler they talk about this every year i don't have a problem with the game speed bro i don't think that was one thing that was a concern this year was the game speed bro oh yeah there it goes that's his name iso it's ISO in his name. Okay, so definitely he's a dribbler. Better stamina. And that's a dead giveaway. He's a dribbler, bro. The stamina was cool, man. Bro, it was bad. The adrenaline system was so bad, bro. Until they fixed it, yo. And I hated the fact that a lot of people pretended like the game was perfect on launch. If you went against it, it was a skill issue. Like, okay, they said the adrenaline system was good. And then I posted a video saying, yo, there's no way y'all think this is good. I literally just moved an inch. An inch, like I just pressed R2 once and I moved. One adrenaline bar gone. So that's one speed boost gone. I can only do it two more times from a little bit of movement and it would even go away on defense. Now, not defense, okay? It will go away when I'm moving off the ball. So let's say I'm trying to get open. I'm moving without the ball. I'm still losing adrenaline. How is that possible? Why is that a thing? And say when I get the ball, right? I only have one adrenaline to work with for the whole possession. That's so trash, man. That's so trash, bro. I'm totally updated. So when you can't lose adrenaline off the ball, that's when stamina became good. So I'm going to have to say they did give us better stamina. Hardwood Classics, nobody care about that. Short Shorts, those are already in the game, bro. Unless he means more. They're already in the damn store. The swags, they're just expensive as hell. Green animation, jump shot landing, still in the game. Everything that made 2K19 and below great games. Doesn't really explain anything that's way too vague. So we're just going to go over to my what my guy says. I got to read all this, bro. Let's go over here real quick. I'm dodging. I'm dodging. Man Lost said, old rep system. I believe we went over that though. Remember what that guy said? He was cooking though. He was cooking. 2K16 rep system, but implement seasons in some kind of way. And I like that one. So right here it says, entire game should be skill based. Mandatory shot timing and dunk and layup timing. Mandatory dunk timing is crazy. <laughs> Mandatory dunk timing is insane. Oh my God. Okay, the layup timing is cool, but if you're wide open, it should just go in anyway, regardless of the timing, bro. I, I promise you, if you implement layup timing to a degree where if you don't time it right, even on wide open layups, you still commit, you're going to have a whole lot of people missing wide open layups, bro. I promise you, it's, it's going to be, if that's going to be a thing, people don't time anything. Mandatory dunk timing is kind of crazy because not a lot of people want to just time everything, bro. A lot of people rim run just for the fact that you don't got to time your shot. Like, they have to time the dunk. It's going to be tough. I like that though. I like that though. 
I can't lie and say I don't like that though. Because it eliminates just rim running all the time, which everybody complains about. Y'all complain about rim running, right? So if you nerf Limitless Takeoff and you add a dunk meter, a mandatory dunk meter, he might be cooking. Let's keep reading. Defense should be skill based. Flick stick left or right to reach with left or right hand. Flick up to contest shot or steal a high pass. Flick down to steal bounce pass or strip layup or dunk attempt. So implement a more detailed defensive system. I, uh, yeah, okay. Be more skilled on defense. Loki, I like that. I like that. We'll have it less animation based and more timing and skill base oh i like that miss time reaches should be should more than likely result in fouls pressing square is an automatic foul anyway strength needs to matter much more i agree let people add some strength to their bill you know stop letting guards and everything get away with dirty strength thinking they're just gonna get away with that all right penalty meaning a player with absolutely no defense should not be able to guard anyone on the floor or get any defensive animations all right, so I checked. We're already at the 15 minute mark, Loki, and I'm gonna do a lot of editing. So I'm gonna go for no more than 20 minutes. All right, no more than 20 minutes, bro. All right, let's go. Strength needs to matter. Okay. No defense should get no defensive animations. Yeah, they should not get no steals. They should not get no blocks. If they don't have no block, no steal, they should not get any of that. That was a problem in 2K20. No, nah, it was a problem this year in current gen. I be getting steals and blocks even though I have like a 30 steal. So I agree on that. Fix your goddamn game, 2K. Just make the bait the game skill based and realistic. Also let us earn more VC. Facts, more VC. But that's not gonna happen because 2K is greedy. This damn game makes way too much money for us to be any issues at all. Price is going up close. Okay. Go on dates with main characters. I don't care about that. Okay. So basically he wants deeper um defensive systems, offensive systems. I agree with him, bro. I agree the game should be much more detailed than what it already is, bro. You should not be getting steals with a 30-some steal. You should not be getting blocked by a 6-1 guard. I don't care if y'all the same height. If he doesn't have a block above a 60, I don't think he should be getting blocks, bro. Even a 60, even a 60, he should barely get blocks. And that's about it, bro. So let's go. My guy OG, I posted the same thing on his channel because that man has 100K subscribers, bro. And I want to ask 100,000 people, whoever want to input. So I'm going to go through this fast, bro, because I got like three minutes. Okay, so the first one says, I know I'm probably the only one who cares, but I want to see the leadership skills. Ah, uh, you are the only one who cares about that, bro. I'm sorry, you're the only one who cares about that. I can't waste any time. Creating a legend from 2K13 would go crazy. That's 99 everything, bro. Come on. I definitely don't want to see the badge tier again. If it needs to be revamped badly in its current state, it's way too annoying. In 2K, you have to input an option where you can turn off boost. I don't want to waste boost playing my career. Ah, uh, just don't buy any until you're done playing my career. I guess. I don't feel like that's a problem. <laughs> I mean, okay, cool, cool. I'm not going to waste any time talking about that. I don't feel like we need to get rid of the badge tiers, but just balance it, bro. The theater, but with different court designs. Better defense or I'm not playing. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm going to try to decipher this in some type of alien language. Real shit. I want to be able to use my Zen again. Oh, you're one of them. You're, yeah, you're, you're one of those guys. All right, so yeah, we're not paying attention to that. This is what I want y'all to do, bro. Since 2K24 is coming out within the next three months, I want y'all to come up with ways 2K24 could be goaded. I know y'all could come up with some stuff better than this. Better than me. I, everybody, bro. Since I brought it, since I'm making a, a video of it just centered around 2K24, I need y'all to comment down what can we do to make 24 great, bro. This is the last chance. They got to make it good. They got to make it good, bro. So anyway, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I know I'm going to have some better answers than what I got. But yeah, peace.